Good morning, grade 11 students. In this lesson today, you will learn a new vocabulary in module 5 on your student book, page 70. So we are going to work on achieving three main objectives. First, you will differentiate or find the differences between adjectives ending in ed and ing through choosing the correct word in eight sentences. This is activity C, page 70. Second, you will derive nouns or you will form nouns from given verbs by adding suffixes, activity DNA, page 70. And finally, you will produce a sentence or make a sentence in your own word that includes two adjectives ending in ed and ing and a noun with a suffix. All right, let's get started. Read the below letter and identify the adjectives. What does the word adjective mean? So adjective is a descriptive word. It gives you a better description of the noun or of the situation, feeling, things, objects, hygiene. I've just seen an amazing film. As you can see here, we describe the film using the word amazing. So amazing is the adjective that describes the word film. As you know, I love comedies. I think it's the most exciting film I've ever seen. Again, the film is described as exciting, which is an adjective. Aisha and I had to wait for 20 minutes to get into the cinema as there was a queue. Very boring. So the adjective here, boring, this is to describe the queue or the fact or the situation of waiting. At last, after that tiring day at school, we took our seats and felt relaxed. So how was the day? It was tiring. And how did we feel? We felt relaxed. This is to describe the feeling. We enjoyed the comedy and the end was surprising. How did the speaker or the writer describe the, the end? It was surprising. Well, how was your trip to Qatar? Was it interesting? So I'm asking about the trip, if it was interesting or no. I'm looking forward to meeting you here next Saturday. I'm really very excited. This is to describe my feeling. I am excited about it. I can't wait. My sister Amina is also very pleased. This is to describe Amina because she is interested, so interested here to describe also Amina, in getting acquainted with you. Keep in touch. Still working on the adjectives, let's move on to the activity B on your student book, page 70. Read the following sentence. What's the difference between fascinating and fascinated? He is such a fascinating speaker that the fascinated audience didn't want him to stop. As you can see here, fascinating, this person or this speaker is fascinating. So this is the impact. And the fascinated audience, this is the feeling of the audience. Fascinating here describes what causes a feeling. So the adjective ending in ing describes the situation, the impact itself. Fascinated, adjective ending in ed, describes how somebody feels. It describes the feeling. Look at the pictures, check if the sentences are correct. The man felt depressing. The adjective here is with ing and it is supposed to describe the feeling. So do you think the verb is correct? It's wrong. Because when we want to express feeling with some adjectives, we have to put ed and not ing. The man felt depressed. Next one. The food was really disgusting. So we are talking about the food, means what causes this feeling? It's not the feeling itself, it's what causes this feeling. So with ING, what do you think? Very good, it is absolutely correct. So if we talk about your feeling, you will say, I feel disgusted. 
Let's practice and move on to the activity C on the student book. Read the sentences below and circle the correct words. Jennifer was appalling or appalled that the children behaved so badly. So appalling means shocking and appalled means shocked. And let me remind you, if the adjective ends in ing, it means that it describes what causes a feeling and not the feeling itself, what describes a situation. If the adjectives end in ed, it describes the feeling. So the answer, Jennifer was, this is her feeling, appalled, that the children behaved so badly. And this described, of course, Jennifer. Number two, I woke up to the pleasing or pleased sound of singing birds. Of course, this is something positive. It's a nice sound. So what do you think? We are going to describe the sound. Is it pleased or pleasing? If you say it's pleased, it means it has a feeling. So it's no. The answer is pleasing. Pleasing sound. Number three, what is that? disgusted or disgusting smell. We are talking about the smell, so it is disgusting and it refers to the smell. Alarmed or alarming residents left their houses when they saw the flood waters rising. We are talking about the feeling of the residents, the people who live there. They are alarmed, and this to describe the residents. Number five, don't be disappointed or disappointed that you didn't pass a lot of people fail their first driving test. What do you think? We are talking about the feeling here. Someone is asking you not to be disappointed. Very good. Next one, that was very embarrassed or embarrassing, as you can see the emoji here, which shows the feeling of embarrassment. I'm not going back in there again. That was very, I'm talking about the situation, which was embarrassing. Next one, number seven. I am more confusing or confused, as you can see here, the confusion. Can you repeat that? I am, you are describing your feeling. I'm more confused. So this to describe your feeling. Number eight, Sue is feeling a little depressed or depressing. Let's call her. We have the word feeling here. So we are describing her feeling. So it should be with ED is feeling a little depressed. And this is to describe or to modify Sue. All right, now move on to the second objective. We are going to derive nouns from verbs by adding suffixes. Find nouns in the reading text on page 68, which derive from the verbs below. So the word derived means taken from the verbs, which suffixes are added to the verbs. What's the meaning of a suffix? So a suffix is a morpheme added at the end of a word, like I-O-N, A-T-I-O-N, M-E-N-T. So these are called suffixes and they are added at the end of a word. All right, let's go back to the text, page 68. So the words are from the following lines. So find a word related to fascinate. Fascination, very good. Next one, line 24. Excellent, realization. 34. Expectation, now measure, line 66, measurements, 
reflect line 74 reflection and finally line 77 announce announcement so what is the rule many nouns are formed by adding a suffix such as ion a t i o n and m e n t to a verb so be careful we should take a verb and add the following suffixes but pay attention to irregularities so in every rule we have irregularities example decide becomes decision introduce introduction describe description explain explanation apply application satisfy satisfaction now let's uh, practice complete with the correct form of the words in capitals then check your answers using a dictionary losing the last match of his long career came as a huge to him what do we need here so we have disappoint disappoint is a verb and as you can see we have a huge so a is the article huge is the adjective and the adjective here requires a noun so the noun of disappoint is disappointment so we add m e n t as a suffix next one i'm sorry sir but we have no record of the of your booking we have the verb cancel and of the cancellation of the here requires a noun cancellation we doubled the letter l and we added a t i o n right number three it is my so we have here imagine which is a verb and my this is the possessive pronoun which requires a noun so what's the noun of imagine imagination very good the artist so we have inspire inspire here is a verb and as you can see this genitive or genitive case or possessive s so the artist we need a noun inspiration for this painting was a little cottage he stayed in last summer number five it is not surprising that the workers at the factory have no the verb is to motivate and have no we need a noun here and the noun from motivate is motivation number six i consider building up a successful business as my greatest we have the verb achieve and we have the superlative my greatest this is of course an adjective which requires a noun my greatest achievement number seven the internet at the hotel was very slow or was really slow so the internet is a noun and also we need a noun here to make a collocation the verb is to connect and the word is the internet so we can say the internet connection exercising and healthy diet play an important role in the and we have the verb prevent the here requires a noun of heart disease the prevention of heart disease all right here comes the end of our lesson can you make a sentence in which you use two adjectives one ending in ed the other in ing and a word which is derived from the verb you can use the word or the vocabulary that we have studied today how does this person look he can 
be disappointed or depressed. And as you can see, there is the word decision here, which is derived from the verb decide. I hope you have thought of a brilliant sentence. Let's share an answer. Abdullah was so depressed when he knew about the disappointing decision. So, we have two adjectives, depressed and disappointing, and the word is decision. So, here we use the vocabulary that we have studied today. This is the end of our class today. Thank you so much for your attendance. Don't forget to do your assignment on the Microsoft Teams.